Hey y'all, it's me, Britt Reacts, and today we are reacting to Summer Breeze from the Isley Brothers. Let's see what they have to say. Oh. Gold on gold on gold. We consider this rock and roll, I guess. Uh -huh. yeah. Summer breeze on in my mind. I summer, yeah. This is not the same summer breeze in which Seals and Croft sang. All right, I am familiar with the Isley Brothers. More specifically, I believe it's Ron Isley, AKA, is he Mr. Biggs? Um, I think he's the one that's right, Mr. Biggs. Uh, I, I'm sure if I heard a song by the Isley Brothers, I would know it. I just didn't know it was them, if you know what I mean. Like, I grew up listening to old school R&B is what, like, we call it. Um, you know, like, on the radio and things like that. But because I was younger, I wasn't super interested in it, or I wasn't supposed to be listening to it because I grew up in a super religious household. So, I'm sure I know some Isley Brothers songs, but... Uh, when I reacted to the Seals and Croft, I believe that's the name, uh, version of this song, everyone in the comments was like, Izzy Brothers, Izzy Brothers, Izzy, I, I, I. So here we are. I believe it's the same song, but baby, they are not singing the same song, if you know what I mean. The other one gave like Picnic, Summer Breeze, Sitting at the Dock, Summery Day, and the Breeze, this is giving summer breeze if you will and i'm only two seconds in okay all right i have to gather myself this i did not expect to melt in my seat in the first note of this song guys oh my gosh there it is. That sounds familiar. Ooh, it's sexy. Of what they're wearing oh good god 1973 of course all right this is what i mean when i say often because i'll listen to different versions of songs sung by different artists same song same lyrics different artists that the way someone delivers a song can make a song sound completely different or it can open up the lyrics for you in a different way as if it has totally different meaning um this feels like two different, completely different songs. The melody, you could never, though, switch up on me. It's so good. But the way in which Mr. Ron, I'm going to, I'm going to say Ron because I feel confident that Isley is singing this. The panties are dropping. I said it. I said it. Y'all, this is a panty dropping song. And I would have never pinned it as such listening to it in its other version. 
It's simply because of the way that he is singing it. I'll induct it officially later later down the line. I if I can get through the last five minutes of this song. Big boy is getting it. Are they actual brothers and are they meant to be dressed like pimps? Because it's it's giving P-I-M-P. -P. This man's pants are painted on. Would I wear this? Yes, so I'm not judging. I'm just making an observation. They're so tight. They're so tight. The other one's in an all red suit. They all got things dangling off their necks. Like it's just, it's giving pimp. Are they brothers? And real brothers. He's just gonna go into the falsetto the whole song. The whole song, huh? such sensuality like it's just like i don't know i don't know <laughs> y'all they could probably sing the abcs and the panties in the crowd would drop i mean it like full falsetto just that that sounded beautiful you don't have to tell me like I can't decide if it's necessary or not. Having heard the original version and how it just had like the good vibes and this is just so, it feels like Zegzy time music, but it's about the summer breeze, you know, and the jasmine growing. Wow, okay. My favorite is the guy in the red, because he is just having the time of his life. Don't blowing through the jasmine, not in, Brit. See? I know how to butcher a lyric, y'all. I'm sorry. Come on, y'all. Gather around. C come on. Gather around. Everybody get in close. It's time. <sighs> this right here is a penny dropper. Whoa. Whoa. <sighs> the Isley Brothers, welcome to the Panty Dropping Club where the Songs are hot, and so therefore, you know, the panties they drop. The air gets a little moist. Uh, there may be some screaming and some passing out. 
The ladies want to be with you. The men, they want to be you. And simply, no one can contain themselves. This is outrageous. And you want to know what? They're not even singing anything that's panty dropping worthy as far as words are concerned. It is the style in which, the confidence with which, the swagger, if you will, the bare chested, tight lip plant pant situation. That's what's getting them inducted. Like I said, they could sing Mary had a little old lamb and I'm sure someone would be without their draws. So welcome Isley brothers. You join the ranks of many, 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 many men and women who knock the socks and maybe the panties off of all of us. All right. I, like, is there a need to continue? This is too much for me. <laughs> like, on overload receiving this. This is too much. Why didn't you guys warn me? You, Everyone was like, you must listen to the eyes. Nobody warned me. This is ridiculous. Call the police. My head hurts. I have a headache. I have a headache. Oh, my Lord. There's some panties in that crowd. Y'all can't see it because it's in black and white and I have to alter the screen for copyright reasons, but there are some panties on the ground in that crowd. Maybe even on the stage. Oh my goodness gracious. Are we done yet? Ah! Come on now. As if the guitar wasn't enough. And then it had the nerve to cut off. You know what? Fine, fine. I was overwhelmed anyway. Fine, fine, fine. I just wasn't prepared. I wish you all would have prepared me in the comments when you were suggesting I run to this version that I might melt into a puddle. My goodness gracious. All right. It's been a while since we've inducted anyone, let alone a group into the PDC. So this was great. I appreciate it. I'm going to go, um, I don't know, drink some water, have the day you deserve. Bye.